name is Elizabeth Schoenfeld. I'm a sophomore dance major and I'm 15. My name is Antonio Dasty. I'm a senior acting major. Uh, my name is Brianna Ellison. I am a senior acting major. It's Jason Mount. I am a junior and I'm an acting major. Uh, my name is Bridget Harrington. I'm in ninth grade and I'm a vocal major. Hi, I'm Casey Connor. I'm a senior acting major. I'm Natalie Klein and I'm a junior actor. My name is Brian C. Stringer. I'm a senior acting major. My name is Abby. Uh, I am a senior and I'm a vocal major. Hi, I'm Nick Spinelli. I'm an acting major and it's my senior year. I play William Bond, trooper number one. I play Mary Cook, uh, John Cook's wife. I play uh, main cast Thomas Fairfax, understudy William Prynne. I play Major Thomas Harrison in the main cast, and I play Lord Grey in the understudy cast. I play Lord Grey in the main cast and Harrison in the understudy. Well, I'm the understudy for Lady Anne Fairfax. I play uh, Henry Iredon. I play the president of the court, John Bradshaw. I play trooper number three, Matthew, and understudy Sergeant Elton. I play King Charles the First. But it's got everything. The show has like everything you possibly want. The fact that it's about an event that happened like 400 some years ago and it's so it's written so um, modern. Then she didn't she didn't typecast it like like there's women playing male roles. I think what makes the show unique is the fact that it takes place in 1648 England, but yet we're using 90s grunge. Just the 90s and grunge and Nirvana and all that cool stuff. And we have a band. We're the first Americans to perform this play, and that we're doing it in a 90s grunge style compared to the 1600s setting it takes place in. I think it's the fact that it's the you know the first time being performed outside of England. This is such a brilliant new written show like I fell in love with it honestly just the subject matter in it is what makes the show for me oh, when Charles says three shirts ham and they must not see me shiver I get chills we are all equal in the eye of God you are a prisoner in charge as a high delinquent because it just makes me feel powerful <laughs> I think it's got to be when Cromwell says terror because he, he's asked, the country's torn into bits, and he says, then tear. And I think that's pretty much what the whole show is about. Though. Only one is high enough and he is in heaven. No man should obey an order he thinks unjust. It's just very powerful. A subject and a sovereign are two different things. I tell you, I'm the martyr of the people. Tell Oliver that I did the Lord's work. I'm laughing for the rights of the common man. He goes, the king are off, lad, to defend the rights of parliament, which you now deny. And that to me is very powerful because it's almost like we're introduced to these soldiers and it's like, oh, these soldiers, they're so good, they're so great. And then you find out that they're pretty much doing the exact same thing the king did. It's totally different from anything they're ever going to see. I think it's a really inspiring show. Number one, it's not a really drawn out long play, so it's a, it's nice and short and sweet to the point where... It's got something for everybody. I mean, it's it's awesome. Because it has so much depth to it, it's not just about um, the overthrow of King Charles. It's about everything and how it's being affected. The music's fantastic. There's music like in the play, which is so different from a lot of uh, conventional shows that are happening now. And all the actors are great and the show is just so powerful and a lot of it still like has undertones of things that still happen today. Most of the audience is going to be like grew up in the 90s so they're going to recognize all this music because it's all music that everyone listens to and everyone loves. Well, because one, every person in the show is phenomenal and a lot of theater is like, oh this is the good guy, this is the bad guy. It'll really leave them questioning who really is the good or bad guy and it'll really make them maybe I hope rethink a lot of people in their lives or people that they look up to that maybe they should start questioning a little bit more and not just go by what the majority says. I think that it's going to leave them walking away with a feeling of, like, it's over already? I want more. Give me more. Give me more.